Okay, hallelujah. We're at Macquarie University. We're here to share the gospel again. There's nothing greater than doing the Lord's work, coming out here, sharing with people who not as yet know who their Savior is. So why do we come out and preach? Well, we have a great example in Jesus Christ. If you look in the, the book of Luke, the context is that Jesus was 40 days in the desert, tempted of the devil. He overcame that by the word, came back and began his ministry. So in that time, he went into the synagogue and he opened the book of Isaiah, the book that was uh, showing the prophecy about Jesus. 700 years before Jesus came on this earth, Isaiah, the Holy Spirit, through Isaiah, had written this prophecy, Isaiah 61 and verse 1. And Jesus opened the book of Isaiah and he said the words. He said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to bring recovery of sight to the blind, and to open the prison doors for those who are bound. And he closed the book and put it there and he said, This day, this is fulfilled in your ears. And they wanted to stone him, of course, for that. But the thing is, we're out here, anointed of God to preach the gospel to bring good news to the poor and people say well we're not poor this is a rich country we've got plenty of money everybody's got new cars have a look at the cars you don't see any old bombs anymore you don't see old clapped out bombs with ball tires everybody's car is probably four or five years old and then they get rid of it and get another one this is not a poor country so why are we preaching to the poor it could be seen and interpreted as poverty of spirit that people when you're poor you're lacking something not always about money people can be poor in all sorts of ways they can be emotionally poor they can be they can lack maturity and be poor in their reactions but this sort of poverty we're talking about today is the poverty of spirit people who are not born of the spirit of God are missing something in their life and that is why we're here today to preach the good news of the gospel to those who are poor you don't have to stay poor people this is the good news you don't have to stay lacking knowledge you don't have to stay in unbelief you don't have to stay in broken relationship with your creator today is a day when you can change everything come pray with us and God will do something amazing we can't do anything we can be obedient to God and come out here present the gospel to people but in the end it's about you coming joining with us praying with us confessing before man that you're a sinner I'm a sinner we're all sinners and you know, God made a place called heaven and he wants everybody to be there. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe on him would not perish but would have everlasting life. Jesus Christ paid the ransom for all. The just, he was just for the unjust that was us he paid the ransom he paid the price he made the way back to the father for us so we're out here preaching the good news of the gospel and what's the gospel the gospel is that jesus christ died for you if you understand that you're a sinner people don't people walk by and they say what is this guy talking about he's talking about your current status cannot enter heaven he wants to change that. God wants to change that in your life. He wants to give you new and everlasting